What's up guys, welcome to the channel, welcome to a new story video. Today I'll show you guys my results from the weekend and my plans with the collection bonus because I'm starting a collection so I will show you guys that in this video. Leave a like and consider subscribing if you like the content so let's get into the video. Game week 395, um, as rewards we got the threshold. So cap to 40, Alex can, it wasn't 5-6, that was with the penalties but he couldn't cap the clean sheet so scored 52. McKenzie played really well, 75 without a clean sheet bonus. Rosowski same, 57. Could be better, but uh, okay. And Benza played a weak game with Charlotte Robert still could get some all around. And Schreus just did his normal job. Lost against RWDM, but got a score 65. So we got a threshold there, 10 points to um, a tier 5, but yeah, tier 5 is not really worth anything. I see every week a tier 5 is getting more points, I mean in cap to 40 you, are, you already need more than 305 points for a tier 5, so it's interesting to see how that will develop. Uh, MLS Amateur, um, yeah, Messi smashed it and the rest was just average. All Star Limited, uh, All -Star Limited this was just for the Sora coins on the Sora coins. Uh, yeah, it was actually pretty decent, I didn't expect this. but. Okay, kept to 70. Kim Dong Hyun didn't start a goal for Incheon. They're switching back to the old keeper Lee Tai Hu. He was out of squad, and I still don't know why he wasn't selected. But Lee Tai Hu, I prefer him because I have his 20, 20 23 limited cards, so I have a collection. This guy only has 2% bonus. Uh, he dropped in price, but I'll cover that probably. Oban Suk played really weak, Dilver played well, won 6-0 against the team of my Urchuk who couldn't really do anything and Vosovsky same, he has scored 57. Uh, kept to 20 limited, yeah it started off really bad, Cordoba didn't play, he was predicted to start but came off the bench and scored 20 so that was really unlucky. Uh, then Bolat, uh, no clean sheet but a really good score, it was a really big difference from last week against Uper, now he... Uh, Keep really well again, so it's no point losing his starter place. Kunyu Nuk played bad. Scores missed a penalty in the last minute. Um, otherwise, I didn't got a reward. So at the end, I'm happy because his L15 stays low because of that. And Koita, yeah, he could have scored as well and assisted. Big chance missed, hit a crossbar as well. So yeah, unlucky. Uh, than academy teams, but normally I don't show academy teams, but I want to show some quick uh, Some players so Lee Taihu uh, starting in goal again. It's really interesting to see if he uh, Keeps starting or he will move to the bench again. Hey, a uh, really interesting card, George Glass um, He wasn't predicted to start because I will show you guys um, Coventry switched to uh, a new formation wha Where he's a sentiment normally he wouldn't play but now he's playing as a right mid again and I don't want to spoil anything but if you look right midfielder as a scores it's just way better uh, he played right midfielder and then he got injured so uh, he came back and played center midfielder as you see here he had some good scores he was right midfielder then got injured and just came back as a yeah CM CDM and now he's back as a right midfielder lost to one did again a decisive but just uh, good possession and attack score. So really nice to see he's back and uh, on the right wing right mid I think he can get more decisive there than at the midfield So that's really nice to see and um, hopefully that the, that will develop good Also to mention Kimbo Supi was injured for a month, but already back after two weeks on the bench. Hope he can start this weekend uh, Leonardo Lopez also really really interesting uh, He's a midfielder and has no place in the squad, but because Popovic played really bad last week he got the spot in the defense and played well. He got ch chosen as man of the match from the supporters. So I think he has now a starting place in the defense. His scores were good. He didn't get points for clean sheet, which if he had, he scored 80. But just good score. He had a double-double, defense, possession good, something in attack as well. So I think if he keeps playing center back, he can get he can be a good option as well. Scores are just good, I guess. 70. So that's really nice. So Almost my two best players, Lopez and Eccles, uh, went in my lineups. Wallace kept a clean sheet as well. Sackler looking stronger than um, I expected. So I'll probably use him even more because I thought Charlotte was a difficult game, but they looked really solid in defense. That was it for the weekend. In the midweek, I don't have lineups. 
uh, that's because the gank against Olympiacos Europa League game doesn't get covered. I don't know why, but it's just the Opta thing that some games just don't get covered. I hope and normally the home game will get covered in gank, so next midweek I will have a lineup. Uh, but yeah, if they if they had a game, it could be nice. Fragapane assisted a goal. Lopez, if he might, can get a clean sheet and then he scores. But yeah, uh, they don't have a game. Mirillo is back from injury, came off the bench, so that's all. So that's also nice to see. For the weekend, I'll show you guys my lives in the next video because there's still a lot of people questionable. So I want to wait till the very end to see who can play or who not. But I'm really excited because I have some really nice lineups. So now let me claim my rewards quick. The Sorek coins, because I played an All-Star, I will get some more, I think. More than usual. Get 380, really nice. And the Ethereum, of course. Uh, you just never get used to it. I mean, it's not four weeks in a row, but the Ethereum plane is always just nice. So not point, not not to a Ethereum, 4 euros 69 added to her balance. So as I said, I also want to mention my collection plans. Uh, I don't know if I already mentioned in the previous video, but uh, I started some collections. You see, my ancient collection is a 3% at the moment, which is really nice. I also upgraded my circular to 1% bonus, and Kortrijk was already one, I think. So if you see here, I have some uh, people, uh, some cards I bought for collections. Let me start here. Wotara is more as an investment as well, because he plays sometimes when gank rotates. Yeah, these two are pre for collection, pick them up for 16 cents each for a 1% bonus on Morrison and Lopez, so that's nice. Yeah, Lita U doesn't have to be here because he will play probably now. And then uh, all these players, yeah, Oban Suk plays every week, so that's nice, same as Kim Yum Yup. But it isn't my pr priority to play them in a game week because they aren't the best scorers. Oban Suk sometimes is a key clean sheet, but Kim Yum Yup isn't just a good scorer. And then these two uh, new, I think, rookie cards are they called? for the collection bonus yes i did pay some for them uh, yeah you don't have to look at this it was for a giveaway i did in my discord server if you want to join link in the description uh, i paid 50 60 70 50 cents so that is something but winning the threshold every week i'm trading up to more budget so i can afford that uh, yeah if you look at our collections in at the moment at three i'm still debating if i want to push it to four because some all the rookie cards are 50 points if I get them from auction for uh, 70 cents. So if I do four more, I can get the 500 uh, energy, so 4%. But I don't know yet if I will do that. For now, it looks like this. So I can now rock a full ancient, st ancient stack in cap to 70. But if the uh, XP bonus comes back in cap to 40, it's a really decent option. Because I will show you guys. The bonuses are crazy already. Uh, and then I choose this one. On starters like Kimbo Soup 12.5%. Uh, Elite 11. Kim Dongman 11. 11. Uh, yeah, 8 here, but just crazy percentages. 8 on Kerso Fernandez as well. Uh, and if I train him for a few more weeks, it'll probably go to 10 and maybe 1 percentage more with collection. So. If XP comes back, I have really, really good options um, in the cap modes with my ancient stack. Uh, the problem is I just saw the next two weeks they play on Friday mid midday. Um, so I can't use them because they won't get scored, only the sizes, so I'm not going to use them. Uh, so that's really fucked up, I can't use them for two weeks be because the uh, Kaylee coverage is still not properly working. Uh -huh. The deadlines were changed to midday, but they changed it back, so I'm... Um, Fuck now with my ancient players for two weeks but after that with some good xp bonuses i think i can get some good rewards and the threshold with them so if you guys want to start playing sora i recommend sending it with the link in the description when you win five cards on the auction market on sora you get a free limit card you can be lucky and get a card up to 30 50 40 euros and he's tradable so you can sell him so you get a free card and you help supporting the channel so it's a win-win uh, that was it for the video. I'll see you guys in the next video where, where I announce my lineups for the weekend. Bye.